Well guys, I've spent the last few hours compiling a couple of different resources. I've been scouring the Chinese web. Uh, I've gotten a whole bunch of different maps as well as some resource sites. I wanna go through each of them. I wanna go through a couple of the different resources and guides that I've actually uncovered. And there is uh, there are a couple that are extremely helpful. And so with that, let's, uh, let's get on with the video. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is a Tower of Fantasy video and today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of different resources because a lot of them were failing for me and the reason that they do fail is because generally speaking a lot of them are actually hosted on the Chinese servers. Chinese servers typically aren't optimized for us like for example this map over here. Yes, it looks English. It looks fantastic. However, I was missing a whole bunch of like these areas down here that were just like broken pages and so yeah I just went out and looked for a whole bunch of different maps just for backups, a bunch of different databases etc etc in case we ever need them I'm going to introduce you to the first one right now which is the Tower of Fantasy resource map this bad boy at the time of this video is the only English map available however I'm going to click this and you can see it was actually in Chinese it got translated by the folks over at Ida Cafe shout out to Ida Cafe you guys are freaking MVPs and so with the combination of their efforts we finally have an English map and in this English map as you can expect I can look for the gold nucleuses boom I'm going to be a <laughs> That is, that is a lot of hours ahead of us, my guys. That is a lot of hours. We can go ahead and track down all of these different points. So you can click the mark. However, for this one over here, we have the save data down here. And I think that's super, super effective. However, this will only be kept into your local storage. I don't think it's using like the account system. So if you're in like the incognito mode or whatever, I'm pretty sure it's going to clear. And that might actually be true for the next two. So here's the next map. It is exactly the same. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It will eventually load. Don't worry, however. And so there we go. I'm going to click on over here and you can see it's exactly the same thing. Remember Remember my guys, the purpose of this is to give you guys backups because it's going to be launch. Launch is going to be crazy and I don't know if any of you guys remembered like Genshin Impact launch or some of the other big games, but these maps went down. Like there are a whole bunch of different resources that we went like and so my guys, that is the second map over here. Now if you want to actually save anything, this is the login button up here. However, mm, I'm not sure about this one over here because you got to give up your mobile phone or like use their own login thing over here. I probably wouldn't use this one to track. However, again, this is another option. This one is actually speedy, speedy fast. I think this one might be the fastest out of all of them. That's going to lead me to number three, which is this one over here. And this is actually also another really good one. And so as you can tell from the left-hand side, we have all of the materials, all of the stuff that we are seeking. You can probably just click through related to the icons. This one is like the Omnium Tower in which we get like the whole area lit up, etc, etc. Uh, I'm sure you will know how to actually navigate through this. Like worst case scenario, you could try the Google Translate. Uh, I think it's navigatable and the one thing that this one does have is that this one is going to be split into region. So I can click this one over here. This is Astra, which is our starting place. And then this is Bangis, Banglis, Bang, Bang something, and which is over here, right? So my guys, that's essentially going to cover off the maps. Like it's very, very easy to use, especially if you've played Genshin Impact, if you've used these maps before. I'm not going to spend any more time on them. I'm going to move on to the next one over here, which is the Tower of Fantasy Index. Now, this is such a fantastic website. It is so well built. It is giga, giga fast. And you'll see if I click this interactive map over here, it's going to lead us actually to this first one, the one that actually has the English translation. So you can kind of tell they are kind of partnered. However, my guys, I've already talked enough about these freaking maps. I'm so over them. I'm going to close that right there. And in this website, we've got like the Sumalkra, et cetera, et cetera. We've got the matrices. These are all just essentially like database, all of the stats, et cetera. But where the real juicer on this website is, is actually this one over here, which is the guides. You can access the guides from clicking this one over here. So this is the 15 things you must know. If you guys have not watched my previous video, I would recommend it. I did cover this one, but these guides, they're all up to date. Look, they were last updated 6th of July, 6th of July, 5th of August. This was like at most a month ago. However, I need to remind you guys that global is actually shaping up to be very, very different. So if you guys did not see my last video, I'm going to come over to the Simulacra. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Nemesis and then you'll see there is a toggle over here for global to China. Now I'm going to switch this around. Look, global 15% attack, 25% resist, China 20% attack, 40% resist. And then if I come down here, like, oh my God, it actually gets pretty bad. So 389 going down to 205. That is, a, that is a pretty freaking significant nerf. So this is one of the things that has changed in the global server. Our girl Nemesis, um, yeah, she got, she got a fat nerf, my guys. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is that any guide you consume from now on, just 
make sure that it's kind of right, right? Especially because a lot of us are depending on the CN knowledge, me included. I've been scouring freaking Billy Billy for all of this info, and then I realized maybe it's not valid, man. Maybe Global changed some things, which they did. And so yeah, just keep that in mind. However, generally speaking, these guides are still like pretty much full on. It's just like the tier lists and those like weapon rankings that you should be a little bit more careful about. All right, moving on, we have the Billy Billy Wiki over here. Now, if you guys don't know Billy Billy, they're essentially like the largest gaming platform, video, whatever, whatever kind of company that also happens to run wikis for games. And I'm pretty sure this is the biggest wiki. So the TLDR of this one is that you could realistically Google translate this. So I'm just gonna hit this. Uh, that's gonna translate the page. You're gonna get the same outcome if you go over to Google Translate, punch this one in, and it's gonna go all into English. And so generally speaking, you would only come over to this one if this site was dead. Because again, this, like the stats and stuff, some of them is going to be a little bit different. Moving on, I've got this one over, okay, I'm not ready to show these ones, but essentially I'm scouring the internet, the Billy Billy for a whole bunch of different guides. I'm gonna talk about, not that one yet, that one's like a really fat juice, so I'm gonna talk about this one first. And so this is a weapon guide, which rates each of the characters slash their weapons against how effective they are, essentially. What it also does is that it gives a recommended star. However, generally speaking, as, uh, as more free to play players or as more like low spender players, is we are going to be looking most of the time for the limited characters at the zero star column because that's essentially like your base we hit a freaking 120 pity we get the lyra etc etc as for the permanent units however we do actually get a lot of those roles so as you can see down here we've got cobalt we've got claudia and some of these stars actually become a little bit more realistic so you could be like oh yeah physical damage buff with claudia that sounds pretty good three star kind of realistic all right we'll take that and so yeah especially from like a day one beginner's star point of view we will look down the zero star column you can see that these guys are actually not released yet i'm going to come down to the very bottom and you will see samir good damage very good <laughs> and then we've got crow up here high air attack damage which is pretty cool kokorita which is giving the high burst healing however i think she could actually compete with the nemesis over here so yeah my guys this is just essentially another opinion in terms of how each of the weapons perform at various star levels and do keep in mind that this is again for patch 2.0 and above 2.1 got the resonances as you can see resonance we've got unique elemental buffs we've got the resonance we've got the resonance we got the resonance yeah <laughs> all right and so after that i want to talk about the last one which is this one over here now this is probably one of the best guides i've actually ever seen and this is essentially well he's packed a whole bunch of different things in together so mega shout out to all of the people who helped put this together as well as your boy mobic ben however we're going to get into it we're going to have a look at this day one checklist now i want to give my opinion on this because there is a little bit different opinion that like I would actually give. And on top of that, it's gonna help me not feel so guilty for essentially just reading his freaking guide. Okay, that's not really freaking true. I am actually adding value, okay? So the first thing is the reroll. Now this step is optional. The reason why I am umming and eyeing about rerolling is because I don't know how much we have to reroll for the Nemesis. If I was going to reroll, I would only reroll for Nemesis because Nemesis is essentially the only future-proof character out of all of them. That is until I saw this one over here. I'm gonna come back to Simulacra. I'm gonna to come to the Cobalt B. I'm gonna come see the Global. The Flame Attack plus 15% Flame Resonance from Cobalt. Okay, I think I'm gonna reroll now. Especially because we are getting so many rolls from all of the pre-registration rewards. As you can see, two, three, five, that's 10 black nucleuses. That's three, three, four, that's another 10 gold nucleuses. And then we've got the Carnival, in which I think we're also getting another 10 gold nucleuses. That's about like 30 rolls. And with 30 rolls, I think it's pretty possible to actually be able to pick up this Cobalt B, not the Nemesis, but also the Claudia as well, if they are in the permanent pool, if we can actually pull them using those golden nucleuses as well as the black nucleuses. Like I'm freaking forgetting about the red ones. I don't think Nemesis is actually realistic. I think the Nemesis dream is dead. However, there might be a chance that the Cobalt and the Claudia dream is not dead. Anyway, that's my take on it. I don't think he's strictly wrong. It's just that circumstances have changed. We freaking hit 4 million pre-registrations. We're getting so many jammies and we're also getting buffed 
up characters for launch. All right, next we move to number two, which is spend your vitality as soon as you are able to. Yes, no-ish. Like in terms of vitality, there are certainly some things which are better to spend on than others, right? So you really, really want to spend the vitality on getting some levels at the early game. You want to be hitting the level cap every single day. I think day one is level 18 level cap. Day two, you add a little bit more, etc., etc. But there are certainly a couple of game modes that you would do and some that you wouldn't. So for example, you wouldn't want to farm like equipment. But on the other hand, the example he gives, dimensional trials, yes, you would definitely want to do that one. I would probably just dump stamina once so that you can get it regening and then rush as fast as you can, get through as much of the story as you can so that you can unlock everything and then dump stamina on the more worthy game modes. And so you may ask, what exactly are these game modes? Well, you can see two of them or three of them over here. Dimensional Trials, Joint Operations Fantastic and Interstellar Exploration. Also another fantastic ones. It's the rewards. I'll make a day one guide very, very soon. So yeah, like I already said, do the story as much as you can. We want to push as far as we can so that we can unlock as much as we can so that we can be a little bit more stamina efficient and then we got unlock all the teleporters now this is kind of like i'm kind of like i'm kind of like meh. this isn't really for me like a top priority because there are probably a lot of other things that you want to be doing that are on a daily reset before you start doing things that are almost like permanent they're always going to be there right and so yeah i'll be coming out with that guide very very soon probably after this video i'm actually just going to go ahead and finish these two so get the free ssr relic colossus arm in some cases i remember i did get a selector i picked the colossus arm i bashed things around that's fair enough but in terms of it being like a day one checklist i think there are more important things to do and ensure you do your dailies and weeklies dailies yes weeklies a little bit less so and so my guys i am going to leave it there today i'm going to talk about like day one as well as like all of the different things that we should be rushing some of the things that we should actually leave alone etc etc and um, you guys can check the spreadsheet out in your own time you guys can have a read through it because a lot of this is golden information especially for the ones where we have the 1.0 dps weapon guide we have like the 1.0 guides versus the 2.0 guides or the 2.1 guides because again we don't know what we are going to be getting some people are saying we're going to get 2.0 some people are saying that we're going to get 2.0 in six weeks some people are saying we're going to get 1.0 and so with that hopefully this spreadsheet is going to come in handy again i'm going to come out with a day one video my own thoughts on it i think i can you know do a pretty good job on it but i hope that these resources are actually going to help you in your tower of fantasy journey all right and so with that i'm just going to wrap things up over here and i want to leave you guys with a secret question and that is how many of these resources did you actually know about and if there are some that i did not cover let us know down in the comments below because i want more resources i want more guides i want the ability to be able to cross reference information to make sure that we are making the best decisions ever and so my guys do let us know down in the comments below and if you do end up leaving a comment thank you guys so much if you did enjoy this video or found it kind of helpful please consider leaving a like subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell however as a as a scythe once said all good things must come to an end so thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye